Hi students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss problems based on LC oscillations. Let us see first one. See the question given. The natural angular frequency of the circuit shown in figure is so given here two capacitors and two inductors. So we have to find omega value. And we have learned that omega equal to 1 by root LC, right? Now in that, to see what is now effective capacitance between these two points, effective capacitance that is equal to C by 2, right? Series combination. So I'm taking here effective capacitance C by 2. So here we are taking the effective capacitance and effective inductance. So we have learned that omega equal to 1 by root LC. But here having two inductors and two capacitors. So effective inductance, that is now clear. Effective capacitance, it is now C by 2. That means for that given circuit, this is now angular frequency. It is again equal to 1 by root LC. Okay. So we have to find across the capacitor what is equivalent inductance. Across inductors, what is equivalent capacitance. Right. So option is, it is A. Now see in next one. At a moment t equal to 0, when charge on capacitor C1 and C2 is 0, the switch is closed. If I0 be the current through inductor at that instant for t greater than 0, see meaning of this, at a moment t equal to 0, that means initially capacitors are uncharged, means no charge. And coming to inductor, current equal to Y0. Okay. Now switch is closed. So we have to focus options now, asking maximum charge, maximum current. You see carefully, when T equal to 0, here no charge on capacitors. Therefore, current in the inductor is nothing but maximum current. So this I0 itself is maximum current. Okay. Or let us see how we decide that. So first of all, make the given diagram. See what is given here. Right, given two capacitors, C1. So two capacitors, C1. Next, inductor. Inductance L. And taking one more capacitor, given capacitance C2. And a switch is like this. Right. So condition given that at t equal to 0, capacitors are uncharged. Right. Then I can write charge as a function of time that is equal to Q0 into sine omega t. See why I have taken here sine function, sine omega t. Because t equal to 0, charge equal to 0. Right now, if you differentiate this dq by dt, that is now current. Or you can say this is the rate at which charge on the capacitor is increasing, right? That is equal to q naught omega cos omega, right? Now we can see 
when t equal to zero. So this cost function is maximum. Cost function maximum means current is maximum, right? So when cost function maximum coming to sign function, it is a zero. That means when charge is zero, current is maximum. See carefully, sign function, this is a cost function. When sign function is a zero, cost function is one. So when charge is zero, current is maximum. That means that given I naught itself is maximum current. Okay, right. Now focus, what is maximum charge? Okay, so in this what I can do is, since asking maximum charge, here initially energy was only in inductor. It was magnetic potential energy. When this magnetic potential energy completely converts into electric potential energy means that is completely given to capacitors, then charge will be max, right? So I'm taking here now energy conservation. Therefore, initially energy was in the form of magnetic potential energy. So half L I naught square. This energy completely converts into, it is electric potential energy. And you can see here one more thing. Here C1 and C2, they are parallel. Therefore, across these two, always potential difference will be same. Okay. So I can write half C1 V square plus half C2 V square. So I have taken V value same for both because across C1 and across C2, always same potential difference, right? Now see from this, both cancel both sides. V value, potential difference. This is the potential difference when this energy is a completely transferred to, right? Completely transferred to capacitors. Therefore, V value, it is a L upon C1 plus C2 under root into Y0. So this is the potential difference across each capacitor. And once it is known charge, if I'm focusing charge on first one, means on C1, I'm taking as Q1, that is equal to C1 into V. That is C1 into I naught into root of L by C1 plus C2. If question is like, what is the charge on C2? Then QT equal to C2 into V, right? So like this, by using energy conservation, we can calculate charge. This is now giving us maximum charge, okay? Let us see next problem. So coming to here, the correct option is correct option is it is option A, right? On C1, I naught into C1 into square root of L by C1 plus C2. Okay. See next problem. In an LC circuit, the capacitor has maximum charge Q naught. The value of di by dt maximum is so condition is initially capacitor was fully charged okay now he's asking what is maximum sorry he's asking maximum value of di by dt maximum value of di by dt okay let us see how to start so first of all write down the given condition given LC circuit, given L and C, LC. LC given. Initially, capacitor has maximum charge that is given Q naught. Or you can take like this, initially, 
you're having a switch here. So let me take a switch here. And that switch initially it was open. Okay. And the capacitor has a charge Q0. And we are closing the switch. Closing the switch when T equal to zero. So we have to calculate now maximum value of di by d2. Right. Then see what we can do. So if I am taking switch is closed when t equal to zero. At that instant on capacitor charge is maximum. Therefore I can write charge on capacitor as a function of time q naught sine omega t sorry not the sine it is a cos because when t equal to zero charge is maximum okay that means i should take here sine sorry cos function otherwise i can write it is a sine omega t plus pi by 2 okay both are same so q equal to q naught cos omega t t equal to zero q value q naught so maximum that is matching. Now we have to calculate maximum value of di by d2. So here what I am doing is first calculate current. Current will be it is dq by dt. In fact, I should take here minus ratio is initially charge maximum. Once we close the switch. Once we close the switch, energy stored in the capacitor, now that is a transfer to inductor. Okay. Initially, energy was only in the form of electric potential energy. Now this energy is a transfer to inductor. And we know energy is equal to Q naught square by 2C. Energy is decreasing here. That means the charge is decreasing. Okay. So when I'm taking dq by dt, itself is negative. Charge is decreasing with the time. Therefore, dq by dt is negative. Negative of negative, positive. Okay. So it is now q naught omega sine omega t. Right. So this is now current. Now differentiate once again because we have to calculate maximum value of di by dt. di by dt. That is equal to q naught omega square cos omega. Now from this we can say maximum value. For this maximum value is now. When cos function becomes 1, this value becomes maximum. Therefore, di by dt maximum is equal to, it is a q naught omega square, right? And we have learned the value of q, sorry, the value of omega, 1 by root LC, right? That means it is a q naught omega square, it is a 1 by LC, right? Omega square is? 1 by else. This is now its maximum value. Maximum value. Maximum value. That means which is the correct option. So it is option A, right? That is the correct option. Okay. Let us see the next problem. So which is in position A for a long time. It is in position A for a long time. That means L R circuit, right? At T equal to zero, it is shifted to position B. Shifted to position B. That means it becomes now L C circuit. Okay. The maximum charge that will accumulate on capacitor is See carefully. Initially, it was like this. It is LR. And given for a long time. So for a long time means here maximum current. Or you can say final current is L by R. This is final value. Now we are shifting the switch to position B. 
So it becomes now LC circuit. And in that, initially inductor having maximum current, or you can say, energy stored only in the inductor and capacitor was uncharged. Okay. Or I can take, we are shifting the switch at t equal to zero. Let us see how we started. <laughs> So first of all, make the given diagram. So given a battery, resistor, inductor, this is A and this is B. Here it is connected to a capacitor. So let us consider we are shifting the switch from A to B at T equal to zero. Okay. That means I can write charge Q equal to Q naught sine omega T. Because when T equal to zero, capacitor was uncharged. Okay. So this match. Now differentiate this dq by dt. So here now charge increases on the capacitor, right? That is nothing but current that is equal to q naught omega cos omega t. Okay. And we have seen that when t equal to zero current that is equal to e by r and that is maximum current. So I am taking that result here. I naught value this is maximum current. So this is equal to I naught cos omega t. I naught value E by R. So E by R equal to Q naught omega. Omega value 1 by root LC. Right? And see what we have to calculate. He is asking maximum charge that will accumulate on capacitor. Therefore, Q naught that is equal to it is E by R into root LC. Okay. So it is very simple and direct. So if you observe, you know, all these equations we have taken first of all charge as a function of time. Maybe sin omega t or cos omega t depending on the given conditions. Next, differentiate that we get current. Then we have to focus remaining what we have to calculate. Okay. See next one. A capacitor is charged to a potential of V0. It is connected with an inductor through a switch S. <clears throat> through a switch S. The switch is closed at T equal to 0. Which of the following statements is are correct. Okay. Let us see given options. Potential difference across the capacitor becomes zero for the first time at t equal to maximum current, maximum energy stored in the inductor, energy stored in the inductor at t equal to pi by 2 into root L by C is. Okay. Right. First of all, see how we start the problem. So again, first we have to focus on writing the charge as a function of time. See what is given here. See what is given here. You know how we are starting the problem. First of all, make the given diagram. Given inductor and capacitor. Inductor 
and the capacitor initially switch was switch was open plus minus inductor and see condition given that initially it was a charge to potential difference v naught that means initially charge was c into v naught okay so it is given that closed at time t equal to zero so i am writing here q equal to q naught value c into v naught cos omega t otherwise sin omega t plus pi by 2 okay because t equal to 0 charge is maximum right now see the first option is asking about maximum current maximum maximum current then potential difference right now differentiate this i am taking minus dq by dt equal to y minus means charge and capacity is now decreasing okay so here C V naught omega sin omega t. This is a current as a function of time. In that C V naught omega that corresponds to maximum current. This is maximum current. Okay. Right. So coming to first option, maximum current is. So, I naught is equal to C V naught omega. In the place of omega, we can write 1 by root ELC. Right? Then see what we get. V naught into root of C by L. Okay? That is maximum current. So, first option is matching. Okay? Next. Potential difference across capacitor becomes zero for the first time. Potential difference. Then see what we can write. Q equal to, this is written as Q equal to C into V. So C and C gets cancelled. So I can write V equal to V naught cos omega t. See carefully once. I have taken the place of Q C into V. Okay, then C gets cancelled. V equal to V naught cos omega t. Now see what he's asking. Potential difference across capacitor becomes zero for the first time. It becomes zero if omega t becomes 90. Yes or no? Because initially t equal to zero. So I am writing here. V equal to zero for the first time. That implies omega t equal to pi by 2. Okay. What is omega? 1 by root LC into t equal to pi by 2. Right. But what is given here? Only pi into root LC. This is actually pi by 2 into root LC. That's why option B is not correct. Okay. Next. C. Option C. Energy stored in the inductor at t equal to pi by 2 into root LC. Energy is stored in the inductor. That means what is omega t value? 90. Omega t, 9, omega t 90 means sin 90 it is 1. Right? Means current is maximum. So energy is stored in the inductor. That means what I can write? It is maximum. Energy stored in the inductor is maximum. That is equal to half L I naught square. I naught value substitute here. Half L I naught V naught square into C by L. That is equal to half C V naught square. See what it means. Entire capacitor energy means the entire energy stored in the capacitor is transferred to inductor is a point here so here omega t 90 means it is one fourth of oscillation it is one fourth of oscillation okay so option c is not much coming to option d and maximum energy stored in the inductor is 
of C V naught square. Time is not mentioned. So maximum means it is only half C V naught square. That means correct options are it is A and D. Okay. Maximum energy stored in the inductor is half C V naught square. Correct only. So A and D. Right. Let us see next problem. Wait, actually, he's asking like, wait, wait, option D is not correct, isn't it? See what is given here. Energy stored in the inductor at T equal to pi by 2 root LC. Pi by 2 root LC means omega T value 90. Right? Omega T 90 means, so here we got, what you call this is, potential energy stored in the inductor. See carefully once. I think option D that we have to verify. Options. Let me cross check once. Option B. Okay, option B is correct. This, this we got it right. B is correct. And A. A is not correct. B correct. Maximum energy stored in the inductor is half C V naught square. Sorry. Options are B and C. Okay. B correct and also C correct. Right. Let us see next one. An oscillating circuit consists of a capacitor with a capacitance C, a coil of inductance L, with a negligible resistance and a switch. With the switch disconnected, the capacitor was charged to a voltage Vm. So here Vm stands for maximum voltage. Okay. And then at the moment T equal to zero, the switch was closed. The current I in the circuit as a function of time is okay. We have to find current in the circuit as a function of time. Let us see how to start. Right, first of all, focus the given data. Our splitting circuit consists of capacitor, inductor, and a switch is given, switch is disconnected. That means initially capacitor was charged. That means I can write Q equal to Q naught. Q naught is C into V max into cos omega t. So by taking cos omega t means we are closing the switch at t equal to zero. At that time, charge on capacitor is maximum. Okay. So switch is closed. The current I as a function of time. Okay. Now see what we have to differentiate this. I am taking minus dq by dt because now charge is decreasing on the capacitor. That is equal to C into Vm into omega into sine omega t. Okay. So in this C Vm omega that stands for maximum current. Okay. So I naught is equal to C Vm in the place of omega, in the place of omega, 1 by root LC. 1 by root LC. And by root LC. Okay. That means what we get? Vm into root of C by L. That is maximum current. So asking as a function of time. Therefore, I equal to I naught. That is Vm into root of C by L into sine omega t. Okay. This is current as a function of time. Right. So I hope you got a clarity.